Hey folks, happy Tuesday. We continue our uh, October generosity prayer calendar. Today is Tuesday, October 25th. And the passage today is Matthew chapter 10, verse 42. So I invite you to turn in your Bibles to Matthew chapter 10. Matthew is the first book of the New Testament. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John are the order of the four gospels. So Matthew chapter 10, verse 42. As you're turning there, I remind you to th- to remember that Matthew is written to the community that's up and around the Sea of Galilee. So think of like rural America. Everyone knew everyone in the villages, a very small, close-knit, maybe you were even related to most of the people there. Um, and uh, and, and, and so that's one sort of reality. The other reality is that in that region, there are both Jews and Gentiles and there's Jewish Christian and Gentile Christian. So there's really four different kinds of people in these communities. That's very unique for that day and time. Um, and very different from like Jerusalem. Jerusalem was Jews. It was this enclave of uh, traditional Jews. And so when you talked about religion, you could talk about it in a certain way. And the people, for the most part, got along with one another. Um, but here up around the Sea of Galilee, a very diverse group of people, though close-knit and, and living close to one another. Um, and so interesting dynamics. And so here is this conversation that Jesus is having with them. And in the midst of the conversation, he's talking about welcoming people um, and providing for people, for caring for people. And he says, verse 42, and whoever gives even a cup of cold water to one of these little ones in the name of a disciple, truly, I tell you, none of these will lose their reward. And so part of the question is if it's okay to welcome people from that neighboring place, from the other religion, uh, can we can we be in relationship to them? Can we provide hospitality to them? And and the answer is just when when you're doing it in the name of Christ, you see in in the old Jewish religion, if you were in relationship to someone who was openly sinful in a certain way, and they sat at your table, then their sin would rub off or sort of become on you. This is why the people were taken back when Jesus would sit at the table of the sinners. You can't sit at the table of the sinners. You're going to become as they are filled with their sin. And here Jesus is saying, no, that's not how it works, right? Generosity and hospitality in the name of the, in the name of Christ comes back to you in good ways, right? You're, you're generous with that, with that other person, even that sinful person, you're generous with that person. That's a good thing. That generosity breeds uh, uh, blessing, uh, and that uh, these these good deeds of generosity they count no matter to whom they're given. As we give this generosity at, from our heart, so we might think about that. Think about that in relationship to people in our world who perhaps in different ways have been outcast. How might we be generous to them? Think about it when when you were on the outside. How was it that someone stepped over sort of the boundary of what put you on the outside and was generous to you and how good that felt? And think about when you offer generosity to others. I mean, I know very few people who are really generous and they're unhappy people, right? That generosity breeds a kind of joy within us. It makes us feel good to help others. We don't help others so that we will feel good. It makes us feel good, though, when we help others. That is a good thing. Generosity breeding these blessings. And some of those blessings even come back upon us. God bless you. Be generous. Have a great day.